hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Cube, the place where my mission is to motivate you to look at the brighter side of the health. In today's video, let's discuss about what is the cause behind cerebral palsy. I'm pretty sure as a parent, you would have definitely thought what would have caused this problem to your kid. There are multiple causes due to which a child can suffer from cerebral palsy. And it's important for a parent to know what is the cause behind cerebral palsy because that will allow you to make better decisions, better choices for the treatment of your child. So let's understand at first place why a child might develop cerebral palsy. Let's begin. Basically, cerebral palsy is caused due to abnormal development of a part of brain or damage to the part of brain that controls the movement of the child. This damage can actually occur before birth during birth or even after birth. The cerebral palsy whose cause is before birth is usually called as congenital cerebral palsy which means a child is born with brain damage. The second type of cerebral palsy is during birth cerebral palsy where the damage happens while being in the process of birthing. And third is an acquired cerebral palsy where the child develops cerebral palsy after being born or as you can say in the early months of life. Now in all three scenarios the cause behind cerebral palsy is different. Majority of children who suffers from cerebral palsy are born with a congenital defect or as you can say they have congenital cerebral palsy. Even though it might not be detected in the early phase but later on the parents gradually start observing the development of the child. A small number of children acquire cerebral palsy due to some insults that happen to their brain after birth. This happens when there is damage to the brain or is insult to the brain during the process of the birth. And the acquired cerebral palsy is the one where the child develops in the initial few months of birth. This is mostly due to infections that happens in the brain. For example, bacterial meningitis, viral encephalitis, blood flow problems related to brain, head injury due to trauma or as accident, or as due to fall, following a child abuse, or as an accidental fall. And sometimes the cause behind cerebral palsy is just left unknown. This time, the possible causes could be due to genetic abnormalities and genital brain malformations maternal infections or fever, fetal injury, etc. Now, whenever there is a congenital cerebral palsy where the cause is uh, due to genetic problem or uh, some problem that has happened before birth, the common reasons behind this could be either of it. First, damage to the white matter of the brain, also called as periventricular leukomalacia in medical terms. The white matter of the brain is responsible for transmission of signals inside the brain and to the rest of the body. This type of damage particularly happens to a baby or as an infant inside the womb of mother at the time period of 26 to 36 weeks of gestation. The reason behind this is because during this period of time, the periventricular, periventricular white matter is particularly susceptible to injury. This type of damage particularly happens to the baby inside the womb at the age of 26 to 36 weeks of gestation. The reason being, the periventricular system or is the white matter of the brain is more susceptible to injury and trauma at this period of time. The second reason could be abnormal development of the brain. An interruption to the normal process of brain development can also lead to damage to the brain and could cause cerebral palsy. The abnormal development of brain that happens during the process of gestational development interfere with the transmission of brain signals. Now the mutation in genes that controls the brain function or its brain development during the early period of pregnancy can keep the brain from developing normally. A mother suffering from infection mother who suffers from fever or else mother who undergoes through some sort of trauma can cause damage to the brain or else alter the development of a baby in the womb which could cause cerebral palsy in future. Bleeding inside the brain is another cause. Bleeding inside the brain can happen due to blocked vessels or else broken blood vessels. This is called as fetal stroke. Babies suffer from stroke because of blood clot inside placenta that eventually blocks the blood flow in the brain. The other cause is weak blood vessels, blood clotting, abnormal high BP in mothers and maternal infections. Even severe lack of oxygen in brain could also cause 
brain damage which could be permanent. Asphyxia which is also called as lack of oxygen in the brain is caused by an interruption in the breathing or poor oxygen supply which happens due to stress of labor or delivery. If the supply of oxygen is reduced or is cut off for a prolonged period of time, the infant can develop brain damage. Even severe maternal low blood pressure during the time of delivery, rupture of uterus, detachment of placenta, problem with umbilical cord, severe trauma to head during the delivery or labor can cause this brain damage. Now, everyone would not get this. There are certain risk factors that is involved behind this brain damage. What are these risk factors? First, a low birth weight baby. A baby who has developed or is was born prematurely and has low birth weight is at higher risk of acquiring brain damage or is brain related injuries. So the second risk factor is multiple births. Babies who are twins, triplets are at higher risk of brain damage or is abnormal brain development compared to a single baby. Infections in mother is another risk factor that puts risk of developing brain damage in the baby. Blood type incompatibility. Exposure to toxic substances. Now, X-ray is one such example. If mother is exposed to X-ray radiation for a repeated time, at that time, that could cause toxicity and cause brain damage. Mother with thyroid abnormality. If the mother is having some thyroid related issues, even she might be at risk of delivering a baby with some abnormality in brain. And babies who are born with breech presentation or else whose legs are lying downward at the time of birth are also at risk of developing brain injuries. So these are certain risk factors that you should know about. Even Complicated labors could be the cause of brain damage. Or baby who has got low Apgar score, which means low uh, breathing, low heart rate, lack of muscle tone and muscle reflexes, and bluish skin coloration. Those kind of babies are at higher risk of brain damage compared to normal babies. So, with this information, the reason that it helps you is to understand what was the cause behind a baby suffering from cerebral palsy. The reason why I'm making these videos is to create a foundation of information and knowledge for you so that you can take better and active involvement from your end while discussing the case of your baby with your doctor. I hope this information was understandable and simplified. If yes, make sure to like this video, share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to HealthQ channel. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.